Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to customize Shopify teams. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. Let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you customize your Shopify teams here? Well, customizing your Shopify teams is actually pretty easy. So, in this case, we first need to understand the different parts of it and how do you start customizing it. So, in this case, you want to go to Shopify.com, log in into your account, and access your admin page for the store that you want to customize. So, in this case, I'm already in my admin page here. So, what we need to do next is we just need to go to the left panel here and click on online store. Now, in this case, this will redirect you directly into Teams. So under Teams, you need to look for your current team here. So currently, you have your team here. So if you're pretty new to Shopify, the default team that you could actually use is going to be the Dawn team here. So if you want to customize that, you can go and click on Customize. Now, depending on your team, you'll be able to actually actually add a different sections or the look for your sections and blocks that you can add within, within your website will be different depending on the team that you're currently using. So if you want to update your team here, you can go and click on Add here and just click on the Publish button to change your current team. But in this case, we'll be using the Dawn team here let's go and click on customize now in here you should be able to see your editor so how do you fully utilize it what are the different parts so you could uh, basically use here so we first need to understand the different parts here so at the very top this is what's going to allow you to basically change pages within your website so in this case we have our default look for our website but you could change the look for Australia or international if you want to customize a few things now in this case, we also have our pages here. So whenever you click on the home page here, which is the default page that you'll go to whenever you visit your editor, you'll have the option to go to your product page, which is the default page so you could uh, actually see whenever you uh, actually viewing some specific products. So in this case, you go and access that and change that as well. Now you could go to collections here, which is the default view for viewing collections and a lot more. So you could also customize your card, check out and cast classic customer accounts. But there are going to be some limitations on certain pages on what you can do. Now you could also go to pages here and basically view your, uh, in this case, uh, some of the customized or specific pages that you've created specifically for your website. So if you want to add, like for example, a different page that you want to use or view or show to your website, this is where you'll, you'll be able to start customizing them. But yeah, so in this case, how do we f uh, further customize our site? So we first need to understand the left panel or the leftmost panel here. First is we have our sections. So our sections would actually contain different uh, divisions within the actual, pay, uh, actual website. So to fully utilize and understand the uh, how it how Shopify uh, websites are actually structured. So usually they have the following sections here. So in this case, uh, they have the header, which in this case will contain the announcement bar. So it, this will actually announce like certain information regarding your website if you want to uh, basically uh, announce a few things like sales and whatnot. Now, header will contain different information about your header. So typically, it's going to be this section here, as you can see right now. So if you want to add blocks, like for example, if you want to add like custom liquid or if you want to add like different apps on it, you could go ahead and do that as well. Now, if you want to add different sections on it, you go and click on sections here and basically add different sections. But then again, again, well, like what I said before, there are going to be some restrictions. As you can see, Heather, you won't be able to do much here, but still, you could do a few things. You could even hide your header if you want to, hide the announcement bar if you click on the eye icon here, as you can see right now. Now, in this case, we have the section for our template here, which is the body or the main body of our website. So the body actually allows you to add different sections that you want. Like for example, if you click on the add section here, you can go ahead and basically add different like collections, feature product, collection list, rich text, and image with text. So depending on what you want to show here, you'll have to change a few things or certain elements on it. But before we actually add a section here, let's go and discuss footer first. Now, footer is quite similar to header here, which in this case allows you to basically add email sign up or just basically add some information or further information on it. As you can see, footer this is going to default look for a footer. So if you want to add like blocks on it, like menus, brand information, some text and images. So as you can see, different websites have their own styles on how they uh, actually view their footer. So if you want to further customize it, you could go ahead and basically add whatever here. So for design wise, I would recommend you to visit different websites and how and see how they actually customize it. So it depends on your brand and your style. 
But yeah, let's go back to templates here and let's go and click on add a section. Now, by the way, if you're wondering what's the difference between a section and a block here, sections are going to be, think of them as containers that you could use. So usually they contain like specific formats for it. So depending on the format that you want, like collection list, rich text, and image with text, you'll be able to add different uh, blocks into them. Now, blocks, think of them as small tools or small things that you can add within sections, which in this case, uh, blocks are actually usually added within section itself. So, for example, let's go and add a, uh, let's just say, image with text section here. Now, within image with text, by default, it's going to have image with text here, button, a pair with text, but you could also add different buttons here, like caption and whatnot. But again, depending on the section that you added here, you'll be able to add different blocks or in this case, different sections, depending on the uh, type of uh, thing that you want to edit here. But yeah, so whenever you click one of these sections here, you also have the capability of changing a few things like the design for it. Like what's the desktop image width here, the sick image placement and what of uh, different properties so you can change. Now this properties would change depending on the different section that you've added here. Now same goes with blocks here. They have different properties that you could change here. Again, it will be uh, probably different, uh, whatever you're clicking different plugs here, or uh, in this case, different sections. So yeah, so there are going to be some limitations here. There are certain elements that you can only change on that specific section. But then again, this would actually depend on your current team. So yeah, this is how you use the actual editor here. But what are the other tools that you could actually see here? So we also have the team settings here, which in this case allows you to change the overall look, overall color of your website. Like for example, if you want to add your logo, change your uh, team or schemes or color scheme for your website, you could also change change the font for your whole website, like the headers, the uh, the font body uh, that you want to change. So you could basically change it in here. Now, in this case, you also have the app embeds, which in this case allows you to turn on certain apps that you've installed. Like for example, if you want to turn on video background, you also have the customer to fill option here. I have tiny tabs also in here. So if you want to enable them, just click on the on button here to enable them and just click on save at the top right to basically save your changes. Now, once your changes are saved, you could go ahead and go back into your website here and go to online store click on the eye icon here and basically view your store here as you can see right now so in this case as you can see we added an image with text option here which allows us to uh basically add different sections so just to give you an idea i'm going to delete it again so that you'll know that it's going to be updated now by the way some changes might take uh, or take effect a little while after so if you've done any changes so for example, let's go and delete this one. So I can click on save. Sometimes it will not immediately affect the website. So whenever we reload it, sometimes it's not going to be immediately affected or will not immediately update itself. It might take some time. So you might need to reload again and again. So don't worry of, about that. If it actually, uh, the update came, came in late, sometimes it does that. But yeah, in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and square button and watch our next video.